When you think about a Lamborghini, what words or emotions come to mind first? It might be millionaire, status, sexy, successful, power, excitement, or arousal. Maybe not arousal. We tend to look at the exciting things that a car like this can actually get us. Just by looking at the car, we already feel the asphalt under our asses. We feel the vibration on the steering wheel. We hear the popping of the exhaust. The engine is roaring. We see the people staring at us. It's wonderful. What we don't look at are the costs that come with owning a sexy beast like a Lamborghini. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it takes to own a Lambo. Indeed, if you have to ask what a Lamborghini costs you, you probably can't afford it. But we will look at it anyways, and I found the perfect car for us already. A 2021 Lamborghini Huracan LP610 4 Evo Coupe for only $309,900. Look at this baby. Sorry. Okay, let's push our ego and all the emotions aside and let's just focus on our brain a little bit. Let's use it for a second. Financial experts came up with a rule of thumb that basically helps people identify if they can afford a car or not. This rule states that you shouldn't purchase a car that's worth more than 10% of your entire yearly income. So do you currently make $3 million a year? Yes? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Let's get this beast of a car congratulations if you don't make three million dollars keep watching okay let's just assume you don't make three million dollars a year but you decided to just buy the car anyways because you have three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in your bank account and you just want to get this car because you want to show off a little bit you want to feel good you want to feel sexy you want to feel sorry brain time okay i know there are a ton of different ways how we could purchase this car we could lease it we could loan it we could just pay for it in cash different ways but for this video i want to focus on just this example of us buying the car out straight we have the cash we put it down and then let's see what happens so let's assume we bought the car for three hundred and nine thousand nine hundred dollars what's next for us to drive this car off the lot we need insurance i did some research and i found a bunch of different offers starting from as low as $150 all the way up to $400. As you can see, it's very difficult to get a very accurate quote on this car because insurance costs depend on your age, your history, when was the first time you got your driver's license, have you had any accidents, where do you live, do you own a house, do you rent a house? So many different things play a role in setting the perfect price for you. So let's just assume $200 for us is fair. So we are in a good situation. We have $200 a month in insurance. That adds $3,400 a year to the first year of purchase. So next step, we wanna drive this beautiful thing. We wanna show off a little bit. We wanna feel good. We wanna feel that power. So we need gas, $200 a month. That adds another $2,400 for the first year. You know what, let's reduce that to $100 because I know there are a bunch of people out there right now like $200 a month, where are you driving, dude? So let's reduce that to $100 a month, $1,200 a year, which means it's $1,200 a year, not 2,400. So let's revise that. Since it's such a beautiful and expensive car, we wanna take care of it. So we have to go to the doctor, a mechanic, at least once a year. And apparently that's between 800 to $1,000 each visit. For this one, I really wanna go with $1,000 because I owned a Porsche before and mine was already close to 1,000. So I assume a Lamborghini, which is worth three times as much, will closer be to 1,000. And that's just a regular service. If we like to drive fast, and I assume we do like that because why would we get a Lamborghini if we don't like fast cars? We probably need a new set of Pirellis for $1,200, including labor, at least once a year. So that's another $2,200 on our first year. So currently we spent $315,700 on our car in the first year. This money left our bank account and now we are sitting on it. But are we though? Let's find out. Let's fast forward one year. After only one year of driving this sexy beast of a car, we are now sitting on $217,192 resale value. What? That's $98,508 that we lost in the first year of driving this car. And this number doesn't get better over time. We just keep losing more money each year. I mean, that's not a big surprise because it's a car. 
it's a depreciating asset or I would say liability because it costs you money and it decreases in value over time. Let's rewind for a second, $100,000 that we lost in the first year. That's not even what it costs us to own this car. There's something else called opportunity cost. If we had invested our $309,900 in anything else but the car, we would probably sit on a way more money today than we did a year ago. And I wanna make something very clear. Since every single investment has risk involved, there's not a single investment that's risk-free. So let's take this example. If we decided to put $309,900 into a stable coin and then put it into a interest paying wallet on BlockFi, we could have made $16,669 dollars and 38 cents on top of our three hundred and ten thousand dollars meaning we'd be worth now three hundred and twenty six thousand five hundred and sixty nine dollars more than the lambo cost us in the very first year even if we invested the money into the stock market at an average yield of four percent we would be sitting on three hundred and twenty two thousand two hundred and ninety six dollars after the first year i just came up with an idea what if we put that money into blockfi get the sixteen thousand six hundred $169 a year divided by 12 it's roughly $1,400 a month let's just lease the Lamborghini with zero down payment boom money glitch all right that's still it's still not enough okay so as you can see owning a Lamborghini is not just that one big payment that you have to make obviously you have a lot of fees and regular costs that you know come with any car but on top of that you lose a lot of value by investing or purchasing an expensive exotic car like that so if you consider the opportunity cost of instead of making sixteen thousand six hundred dollars a year you're losing a hundred thousand dollars a year you need to really be able to afford that before i end this video i want to make something very clear owning a lamborghini is super sexy it's awesome i love the car it sounds amazing but i want to make sure that you understand don't just buy it to show off to other people if you are financially not there yet you cannot enjoy the car because instead of you purchasing the car and having fun with it because you don't care how much it costs you are like let's not drive there because it's another four or five miles getting there and then the gas and then I have to do a service if you worry about the money then you cannot enjoy the car I promise you if you just buy it for other people to stare at you and think you are the baller you're the fucking man you're not make wise financial decisions if you're not financially there yet don't you worry and don't put that burden on yourself you only make it harder for yourself to get to that point where you can easily afford it in passive income or whatever or you just buy it because you can but don't rush it take your time i promise you you will get there if you really want it and make sure that you take one step at a time you'll get there if you're still here watching this video thank you so much for your time you have no idea how much that means to me i appreciate your time as always have a great day